Hi Taurus, welcome to your December 2024 horoscope. This is the last month of the year. This will be the last horoscope of the year. I hope you're excited for the last month, but also for 2025. I know that maybe it feels a bit early to say this, but I am doing 2025 year ahead readings. They are uh, 30 minutes long. There's only a couple of spots available. So if you want to make sure you snag one up, uh, check out the link down below in the descriptions and in the comments. But let's get into what you can expect, Taurus, in the month of December. On December 1st, we have a new moon in the sign of Sagittarius in your 8th house. This means that you're starting a new adventure when it comes to your intimate life and to how vulnerable you are with those close to you. For the sake of this video, I won't get into more details, uh, but just to let you know, I did an entire video going through this new moon, going through all of the rising signs, uh, so make sure that you check that one out if you want to learn more about the new moon in Sagittarius. Two days later, on December 4th, we have the sun squaring Saturn. The sun is in your 8th house and Saturn is in your 11th house. I know we talked about you just having a new adventure when it comes to your intimate life, your vulnerable side of yourself. However, two days later, when Saturn is squaring the sun in your eighth house, you might feel like you're a little bit blocked there. Uh, perhaps that adventure that you started doesn't go through or something happens that delays it a couple of days. Uh, so you might feel a bit of restriction. Good news is that the sun moves quite fast, uh, so this transit is not going to last very long. Uh, so do be patient and just wait it out and know that quite soon thereafter, you can get going with your intimacy and vulnerability. It's a packed couple of days, honestly, at the beginning of the month, so I hope you're ready for it. Uh, the next day on December 6th, we have Mars going retrograde. For you, Taurus, Mars is going retrograde in your fourth house. Keep in mind that um, at the start of its retrograde period, it will be in your fourth house. However, it's going to go retrograde so far back that it also enters your third house as well. So until February of 2025, you will be facing some exciting, not so exciting, some frustrating things. Um, in regards to the way you communicate, the way you're able to relay your opinion and your thoughts to others, and also in regards to your family and home life. So whenever we see Mars going retrograde, we see certain stop and go actions. We try to get things moving, but we just can't. It's like our actions are not able to push us forward. And this might feel quite frustrating, so the one word of advice I'm giving to all of the zodiac signs is to be patient. Try not to get so frustrated that things are not moving forward that you explode. That, that's one thing that can happen with Mars retrograde. Try not to also go on the other spectrum where Mars, um, where Mars retrograde can mean that you uh, let all of the frustrating feelings fester inside. <laughs> Uh, but be patient and know that very soon, in February of next year, things should start to gel a little bit easier. The next day, on December 7th, we have Venus entering the sign of Aquarius. And remember, Pluto is also right there at zero degrees of Aquarius. So they both end up uh, conjunct. On this day, we also have the Sun opposing Jupiter. This could be a challenging day because both of the good planets, Venus and Jupiter, are in challenging positions. For you specifically, Taurus, you might feel like financial opportunities are not, just not coming through. You might feel like 
maybe the, the steps that you have taken to increase your income or start a new side hustle, as we say nowadays, are just not going anywhere. And as a result of this lack of opportunities, the slowing down of good financial abundance is making you question where your future is heading. Where do you see your life in a couple of years? And specifically, because we're talking about Pluto, makes you question, what is the point of it? Where, where is it going? Is it going to be meaningful and purposeful? Am I going to live a life in the next 10 years that makes a difference and makes me feel fulfilled and satisfied? The next day, on December 8th, we have Neptune going direct. For you, Neptune is going direct in your 11th house of Taurus. And this is a good sign, especially because, like I said, you have Saturn in your 11th house. So that has been sort of causing some turmoil with your ambitions, with all of the plans that you've had for your future. Now that Neptune is going direct, you might feel like you can finally start dreaming again. You can finally start having beautiful visions, beautiful ideas of what your future could look like. Then on December 12th, we have Venus opposing Mars. For you, this is happening in one of the angular houses, the fourth and the tenth house. So for you, Taurus, it might be an especially potent, uh, very strong transit, uh, especially if you have planets at the beginning degrees of, um, of Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. With this opposition, you might feel torn in two directions. A part of you might feel like, well, I need to be kind and loving. I need to cultivate the relationships in my career, the relationships that will help me position me in the right way, that will um, that will maybe help me into a new career that I would like, that would help me get the promotion at work. And then there's this other part of you that feels like, yeah, that, that sort of inner child part of you that just feels like, but I don't want to do that. You know, like the way children uh, have a tantrum, but I don't want to do that. I just want to sit at home and be cozy. And I just want to take care of what's going on inside and make my home nice and spend time with my family. Um, so you might especially feel that pull uh, at the beginning of the month. All right, we have made it halfway through the month. Um, on December 15th, we have a full moon in the sign of Gemini. For you, Taurus, this is your second house of finances. So you are reaping what you sowed when it comes to your finances. If you have been taking good care of them, making sure that you're not spending too much, you should find yourself in a really good position. But otherwise, if you have been facing a bit more of a challenging financial situation and you feel like um, that maybe you haven't really done the work there, that you could find that you're reaping the results of that. You're reaping uh, the results of maybe some not so wise financial decisions that you have made in the past. Then on December 20th, we have Venus trining Jupiter, which for you is happening in your second and 10th houses. This is a really positive day where the relationships you've been cultivating uh, specifically in mind for your career are somehow having a positive effect on your finances. It doesn't have to mean like a promotion or a new job. It could also mean that um, just knowing the right people at, at, at your workspace, talking to them, is maybe giving you some ideas as to how you can improve your finances, is maybe uh, giving you an interesting uh, idea or an interesting uh, new hobby or, or side hustle to pursue in order to improve that area of your life. On the next day, on December 21st, we have the sun entering the sign of Capricorn or your ninth house. This means that if you're feeling a little bit dull from this day forward, you're probably not spending enough time and energy into traveling or with, your, uh, with studying, increasing your knowledge. 
So do take a look if there's anything that you've wanted to learn for a while from December 21st. It's a wonderful time to do that. You might find that it makes you feel rejuvenated and happy to jump out of bed in the morning. Or if you've wanted to travel for a bit from December 21st onwards, it might also be a nice time to do that. You might find that it just feeds your soul. A couple of days later, on December 24th, we have Jupiter square Saturn. This square has already happened a couple of times uh, because, you know, the planets were moving direct. Now they, they were moving retrograde. Uh, so we've had a square like this a couple of times. So the energy might feel a little bit familiar. For you, Taurus, we're talking about the second and 11th houses again. So we see this interesting um, tension between your future ambitions, where you see yourself in 10 years from now, and your finances. You might be feeling like you have a vision of a life, but you don't know how you're going to get there looking at your current financial situation. You might feel like the vision that you want and that you have in your mind is not going to provide you with the finances that you would like to have. There's some sort of tension between those two areas of your life. We're almost there. We have two more transits in the month of December. One of them is Venus square Uranus, which happens on December 28th. These two planets are in your first and 10th house. And with Uranus in your first house, you've been really learning the last couple of years how to be your own unique individual. And during the square, you might find that being your own unique individual is maybe not supporting you in the best way in your career. You know, a lot of the times we're expected to act a certain way in order to be uh, considered successful, in order to be given promotions, in order to be respected at our work. And you might find that you feel at odds, you feel like you might not be able to express yourself uh, in the way that you would like to in your career. And then we get to the final transit of the month, which is a new moon in Capricorn happening on December 30th. The new moon for your Taurus is in your ninth house of travel and education. So you're starting a new uh, adventure. You're starting a new period when it comes to these, these two areas of your life. Perhaps you are signing up for a big educational program, getting a new degree. Perhaps you are booking some new travel, like literally getting on a plane or in a car. But overall, you should feel a lot more invigorated uh, when it comes to those two things. So Taurus, we definitely have a couple of houses in December that are on fire, right? We talked about the ninth house of uh, travel and education. We talked about your career, the 10th house. We talked about your future goals and ambitions, the 11th house. And we cannot forget uh, your finances, the second house. These are going to be front of mind for you in December, uh, so make sure you're on the lookout for what's happening there and doing your practices to help you understand what you need to learn and what you need to adjust. But overall, uh, Taurus, if you are curious about what 2025 has in store for you, make sure you check out those personalized year ahead readings. I've left a link for you in the description box and in the comments. Uh, so do check them out and make sure you uh, grab one fast because there's only five of them available. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy December. I look forward to starting a new year together with you and I hope to see you again soon.